Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm giving you a video review on the Anker Precision Laser Gaming Mouse with 8000 DPI which is quite a heck of a lot. So um, I received this uh, from Anker so first of all thank you for, um, to Anker for sending me this out. Um, here's the package, um, package contents. Um, it is pretty much self explanatory, inside you've got a mouse, you've got a little manual, you've got some weights over here which I'll get to in just a second um, and that's about it to be quite honest. Um, so there's not much inside the package, I just wanted to show you the packaging just so you could, uh, just so you could see it right here. But anyway, that aside, we're going to go straight into the mouse. So first of all, as you can see, I've got the mouse over here. Um, I'll try and give you a little overview of uh, everything. So as you can see, it's plugged into my um, my computer at the moment. The cable length, I couldn't find the exact um, specs for it, but it's 6 foot, they say, so it's about 1.8 meters long. Personally, I'd like the cable to be a bit longer. I'll get into pros and cons um, after, but uh, as you can see over here, you can see there's a, a light, um, and this light can be changed. It's the anchor logo, and as you can see, I've got it to pulsating. I'll get to that in also in a second on the software side. Over here, you've got three buttons where your thumb rests, like that, if you're right handed, of course, like so. Over here, you've got uh, the DPI uh, level, so you can change this by the way, but this is for me, I've just left it on the DPI switch. So as you can see, I can change the DPI and I can customize the DPI via the software as well. I've got another button over here, and another button over here, and you've got my scrolling wheel and a button over there. On the other side, over here, you've got a nice little, um, shall I say, fingerprint uh, proof um, surface, like a glossy surface. To be quite honest, you rarely even see it um, over there, but it matches the mouse um, quite nicely. On the flip side, um, you've got some rubber mats over here. Um, you've got obviously the, the laser. And here you've got a quite an interesting um, thing. It's the profile switching. So as you can see, it's um, orange there. And I've made it so that when I change profile, it goes to a different color. In this case, I've chosen red. So it's a profile switching button right there. And over here, you've got the weights. So the weights, I'm going to open them up. And as you can see, you can put uh, your weights over here. So Anchor do provide you with weights. As you can see, I have taken them out. Um, and you can basically put them in uh, in there. So it's eight weights all together. Um, and it's really nice because you get to customize the weight of the, um, of the mouse. Now, what I found quite interesting is uh, the form factor of uh, this mouse really reminded me of my MX Revolution. Um, my MX Revolution being one of my favorite mice um, of all time to Econist. I just absolutely love it but I've got to say I've been using this mouse and I don't want to really go back to my MX Revolution put it that way. So as you can see the form factor and size just to give you an idea of how it looks um, it's the same sort of shape um, if you look at look at this mouse from the front you'll be able to see it's kind of um, shaped in one way so um, it fits really nicely in the hand and same to the MX Revolution you can see over here now these are two different mice completely now this is more of a media mouse in my opinion this is more of a gaming mouse but that said I use I, I'm, I'm I use a lot of media stuff, so play and pause functionalities on my um, on my software and whatnot. And the Anchor Mouse really cuts it because I've been using this mouse and I've actually unplugged this mouse completely um, from my system simply because I'm just so comfortable with it. Um, mainly because of its weight, because the MX Revolution is so much heavier and I can't customize the weight, but also because of the functionalities of this mouse and how precise it is. Um, and I love the profile switcher. So now I'm just going to take you to the software um, on the PC uh, so you guys can see how it looks like. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. The software is very easy. Uh, you don't get any installation disk with the um, with your uh, uh, with your package, uh, which makes which makes perfect sense because um, it's nice to have the latest drivers and whatnot uh, installed. So you just go to iAnchor. Dot com um, and you can go and download the uh, latest software. So the software looks a little like this, so I'll just quickly just a little overview right there. So let's just start with the main section over here. So you can see you've got the 
um, you've got the different keys over here. You've actually got nine in total, and every single one of these can be customized. Heck, you could even not even have a click, <laughs> put it that way. So I'm just going to go, for example, number five. This is, as you can see, it's my media function um, mouse settings, which is my orange color. Um, and I have got the number five button, which is over here, as mute. But for example, if I want to change that, I've got a list of things I can choose from. Let's just take you down that list right there. So as you can see you've got click, right click, middle click, forward, backward, single key. Basically if you click on that you can customize that to say um, F, G, uh, any sort of uh, key on your keyboard. Combo key is pretty self-explanatory. Basics such as copy and paste and whatnot are quite useful. On advanced you've got switch window um, which I didn't find actually quite um, very useful, it was kind of glitchy, but that could have just been me. Uh, show, this, show desktop and whatnot. Media, for example, as you can see, I've got it on mute. You've got volume up, stop, and play and pause and whatnot. You've got the macro. Now, the macro, um, I had to find out what this was actually from Anchorage because I wasn't just too sure of myself. But the, uh, the macro um, key basically uh, records any sort of movements you do um, and makes it into a macro, which is very useful. Well, very useful for games such as World of Warcraft and whatnot uh, because uh, it basically does the job for you if that makes sense so um, it's very useful for those type of games DPI switch as you saw I demonstrated that I use it as my top button number nine over there your macro play macro record uh, DPI plus DPI minus and disable in other words not using it so as you can see you've got quite a ver uh, variety of options the beauty of this mouse is that every single key on that mouse that I showed you can be programmed to whatever you want you could probably even write <laughs> something with nine letters I could write my name with just clicking every single button hit over here because I could assign it to uh, my name so it's pretty cool um, now you've got the acceleration of the mouse, you've got the mouse point speed, you've got the mouse scroll speed, you've got the double click over here, the double clicking um, speed, you've got the polling rate, so normal mice come at 125 uh, hertz um, and you can go up to 1000 and I've got it on 1000, uh, I've got to say it's very very good. Now I'm going to the DPI, I haven't actually touched these because I actually find them perfectly fine and I customize the mouse speed uh, up to the DPI, but as you can see I'm on DPI 2, which is 2000, you can go to 4000, 8000, I've got to say 4000, 8000 become insane, it's really, really sensitive, I've got to say, um, especially for uh, first person shooter games, I can't really see where you'd really need them, um, however if you're a gamer and you really want that, then you've got the precision of 8000 DPI. Now the lights, you remember I uh, explained with the orange color the color over here doesn't really depict the actual color you can see uh, as you can see this looks dark orange but if you remember right it was a bit kind of like a golden color I had but um, regardless you can customize the color over here and you can choose what color you want and the breathing speed over here is um, basically self-explanatory it's basically how how it uh, pulsates and uh, I had it on middle and you can change it to high pulsating low pulsating close meaning it doesn't pulsate at all and brightness level as well, you can actually switch off that light um, or you can have it low, medium and high. Um, finally, you've got the updates which you can go and update your uh, your products, your hardware core and software core and whatnot. Um, so when I was talking about the profiles, as you can see I've got a different profile over here and you can see straight away I've got all these assigned keys G, R, F, Q and these are all for um, Battlefield 3 in my case. Um, I've got to say these are very very general keys anyway but as you can see, these are the ones I've got. For example, number eight over there, which I don't use. I've got it disabled. I've got the DPI switch still there. But these are the keys that I've got. And um, I find it uh, very, very useful for gaming, um, especially on Battlefield 3. It feels like I've got an extra advantage on the battlefield. So uh, it's very nice. And as you can see, the light can be customized as well. And you can see I turned it to red. Right, so now looking at the pros and cons of the, the mouse itself, uh, the pros are, there's too many to list, I have got to say, there's too many, um, too many pros, it, it's an excellent, excellent mouse, especially at the price, which is between 25 and 30 pounds in the UK, it could vary depending on where you live, obviously in the USA and whatnot, but it is a brilliant mouse and I absolutely love it, for the price, and even not for the price, even if I could go a little higher, say 50 pounds, it is still a very worthwhile mouse because uh, mouse sorry because you know my MX Revolution was about 45 to 50 pounds um, back when I got it and 
this mouse just really does everything I want it to. Um, I can customize it. Um, it's light on the hand. I can, or oh, by that I mean I can customize it. So, um, um, its weight and whatnot, and I really love the mouse mouse's overall look and feel. The only um, the cons I can find now, this is one of the very few um, cons I can find with the software. If I save my software, actually I'll, I'll go back to the software just to show you. It's actually relating to the mouse um, scroll speed. Now I might be mistaken and something I'm doing over here, but let me just go and show you in control panel. Um, my mouse settings. Now this is the Windows mouse settings. So as you can see my wheel is, well I don't know if you can see there, but my wheel is on 2. Right, so that's on 2. So that's the, the, the lines it will go through while vertical scrolling. Now if I just press apply, nothing else, if I just press apply, I haven't changed any scroll speed or any anything over here, I go back to um, I go back to my uh, control panel, I go back to mouse I go to wheel and you can see it's magically changed to 8. I have no idea why it keeps changing to 8. Um, yes, okay. Right, there we go. Sorry, I was <laughs> revising as you can see. Um, it just changes magically to 8 and I have no idea why. Uh, but anyway, that's my only complaint um, software wise of the mouse. Um, I've got to say that's the only thing I can note. Um, also, when changing from profile 1 and 2, and if you hit apply, the DPI on profile 1 magically changes to the lowest setting. So if I go down to the mouse, the DPI um, goes automatically back to one which is kind of odd but obviously it can be quickly quickly changed um, but however if I'm on profile 2 and I apply changes the um, DPI switch doesn't move. In terms of uh, another con is um, the color so the color is brilliant over here but obviously when you have your hand of over it you can't see that color it would have been nice if Anchor included a customizable light switch over here I know the DPI might not be able to be changed but at least this one would have been pretty cool to match um, the color or even if you had different colors that would have been pretty pretty damn cool but it is very uh, very very small niggles I should say um, that um, annoy me of the mouse and obviously some people have said that the profile switch is not very uh, useful right there but I've got to say <laughs> since when are you going to be in a game playing and then wanting to switch whilst you're within one game I just don't see I don't, I don't see that as being a real um, con if anything I see it as a pro because I don't accidentally press the profile switch button which is at the bottom and for me I launch Battlefield BAM oh I want to go back to the PC really really simple um, I could do it with one hand I could do it with two hands and whatnot so Apart from those um, cons, because that's pretty much the only things I can actually find, and obviously the the wire, which I found could have been a little bit longer, like half um, half a meter longer, would have been pretty cool. Um, there is no other um, cons about it. The price is brilliant. The look is brilliant. The design is good. The software works, uh, unlike Logitech software, for example. The the lights, the customizable buttons, the sensitivity, the precision. Everything, everything I can say is brilliant about this mouse. It's absolutely brilliant mouse, and I, I, I can't, I can't not recommend it. If anyone asks me for what mouse do you recommend, it's definitely going to be the Anchor, simply because of price to performance ratio and the actual performance of the mouse is brilliant. So, without further ado, I'm going to quickly show you um, a little demo on Battlefield. So I'm going to quickly change my thing to my red profile right there and just take you up. I just launched a campaign and I was just in a game on Battlefield. Not in, in a game but here you can see I'm there. I have to bring my keyboard in. So as you can see I'm playing, uh, playing around over here and it's incredibly, incredibly sensitive. Now I like to play like this, this is my sensitivity settings that I've uh, put it on. But as you can see it's very very good very responsive now if I change the DPI so I'm gonna to go to the max DPI 8000 as you can see it becomes all a little bit mental now if I'm just gonna just do this I'm changing DP I'm gonna change DPI as you can see I can change DPI there I'm not changing my speed of turning change it just there again as you can see sped up and that's on the third setting and that's it 8,000. So as you can see it's pretty mental. Now in terms of the switches, so 
I'm going to press the, the right button uh, on my thumb, so I'm not touching the keyboard. As you can see, it's my reload button right there, which is very, very useful. Um, I've got the knife button over here on my uh, the, the bottom, I shall show you over here, make, maybe make more sense. This button over here is the reload, uh, the knife button. And you can show the reload up there. And I've got obviously the grenade button over there, which will probably kill myself. But anyway, that's that. So as you can see, um, it works very well, it's very responsive. I've got to say that I've been gaming um, on Battlefield and I've got to say that it makes a real difference. Having a proper mouse in comparison to the MX Revolution, uh, having a proper gaming mouse does make a huge difference. Um, and I really love using the Anchor mouse. So, um, top marks, top, top marks to Anchor for producing such a beautiful mouse and a very affordable uh, mouse for everyone. Um, to use and buy and program to their liking. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please do rate, comment and subscribe and be sure to definitely check out this mouse because as I said, I was actually, I've been using my MX Revolution for about two years now. I've actually gone through two of them. And for me, it's the best mouse I've ever had simply because of its scrolling function and its form factor. Um, and I don't think any mouse could have replaced it. But uh, Anchor sent me this and I've got to say, i am actually just been using this for the last week, I've just been using this and as soon as I go back to MX Revolution I think, no, it's just, something's missing, so I, I like the colour, I like, something's just missing and I'm using the Anchor as my main mouse and my only mouse, I've actually unplugged, as I said, my MX Revolution, so it's very surprising for me but um, I've been actually converted to this mouse and um, I really, really love it. So. Take it from me, from someone which has been using the same mouse for about two years and each time has gone to a store and go, mm, meh, that looks like a boring mouse or look at the Razer mouses and go, oh, why am I paying like £90 for a, a mouse? It doesn't seem that special. This has come in £30, £25 and it is absolutely brilliant. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Go get yourself one if you're a gamer. If you're not a gamer, still go get one because it's so affordable um, at its price. Um, I highly, highly suggest it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.